I need new music. This is the JJO Discover New Music Podcast. Dale, how are you doing, my friend? Good to see you. Good to see you too, man. Uh, I'm doing well. Uh, uh, literally uh, just got home from tour, so uh, trying to, you know, assimilate myself back into <laughs> the real world again. So <laughs> it's uh, sometimes tricky, but uh, nice to be home for sure. Anytime I ever had to do any kind of rock, clearly you guys do it much differently on the musician side of it. But <laughs> whenever I came back from a rock conference or anything like that, the thing that brought me down to earth the quickest was going out and picking up after my dog, standing there with a <laughs> uh, with a uh, plastic bag over my hand, still hung over from this trip, still tired. So, yeah, I feel you uh, in a way, in a way, I guess. Yeah, that, I guess. That, that, that'll humble you quickly. Uh, <laughs> I, I, have, I have two very young children as well, so... There you um, go. When yeah. the house looks like uh, a bomb went off and, uh, you know, just things, all the things on the ground, yeah, right. uh, you know, and you got to go pick them up and pick up food, <laughs> and, you know, that humbles you. That was you really quickly. <laughs> I tell you what. Well, g- glad you got back. I hope you can kick your feet up and relax for a while. I know you guys have been keeping busy, uh, yep. obviously, uh, because brand new Seether album, The Surface Seems So Far, is out now. Very exciting. Uh, Dale, let's get into this, because uh, you joined the band basically at the start of it, shortly after Sean got things kicked off. So it's been many years, uh, and now with this ninth studio album, you've seen it all. You've recorded it all. You've played it all. Uh, but what maybe st- stood out with this record compared to previous works when you guys got this put together? Uh, I think for me, this one feels like a little bit of a, almost like a little bit of a throwback in a way, okay. uh, you know, to those old days, you know, uh, with Sean producing, it just, I don't know, there's just kind of a freedom that sort of comes with it. I feel like when you have a producer, they're almost there to babysit a little bit <laughs> and, you know, maybe kind of, uh, I don't want to say take the edge off, but, yeah. um, you know, make sure we don't get too out of hand so that, you know, uh, the label's got some ballads, you know, for the, for the radio and, you know, right. that kind of, you know, they don't always want you to get too rowdy, um, <laughs> which seems like a theme, <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, when we're doing it ourselves, you know, we can, uh, you know, do whatever it is we want to do. So yeah. this is a pretty heavy album. It's pretty aggressive, pretty heavy, a lot of heavy riffs. Still got the melody though, you know, and that, mm-hmm. that's always been important to us. So, so yeah, I mean, our, our first single, Judas Mind, has actually done really well at radio, and that's it's a much heavier song for for a single, you know, traditionally speaking. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I, I guess if you, if you retain that sense of melody, you can go heavy, and you know, radio will, uh, you know, they'll play it. You know, people want to hear it. <laughs> Uh, it's it's never too much of an arm twister to get uh, Seether on board. I think everyone's on there, but you did bring up something that I wanted to touch on a heavier album. And, and that's kind of what I've been getting and listening to it and compiling it um, with that Seether uh, melody at its core. And then that essence of the band, but there's no acoustic songs on this album. And this is the first yeah. one without at least one uh, acoustic song or more mellow song on, or, or that, that kind of stable that we do know and love. Right. Uh, was that planned or did that just kind of happen? You're like, Hey guys, we don't have anything that's unplugged on this one. Uh, it just kind of happened that yeah. way. Um, maybe we're just getting angrier with age. <laughs> 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 no, but you know, we, we never really set out to make an album that's going to fit into a certain box or kind of sound a certain way. You know, the, the strongest songs kind of rise to the top and, um, you know, throughout the recording process it you know, kind of becomes, you know, clear as you, as you go on, you know, what songs are going to make the album and and what songs are the, are the strongest of the bunch. So, um, yeah, at the end of the day, you know, we all kind of came up with our own, our personal list of our, our favorites as the band. Yeah. Um, you know, management had their, you know, had their input, the label had, you know, okay, well, these were the songs that, you know, that we think should be on the album. And yeah. And we kind of went through that and thought, okay, well, let's see which which ones get the most votes type of thing and yeah um and that that's how what kind of dictates the album so it wasn't really a well thought out plan but um <laughs> you know there, there wasn't really a lot in the way of like acoustic stuff yeah, a couple here and there but um but i feel like the the heavy stuff really kind of stood out this time yeah, yeah. How do you guys still continue to capture that and, and, and make that see their album that is true to you guys, but allows you to grow, but also still keeps the fans in it that maybe have been there from the beginning or are just new to see there. 
you know, it's always in the back of your mind, like, I hope this isn't a complete bomb. You know? <laughs> I, hope, I hope people are going to like this one. But at the same time, I think, you know, we, we've been doing it so long now and we, we have a pretty hardened fan base uh, who's pretty loyal to us. Obviously, you'd like to get new fans and bring new people on board if if you can. But I feel like at this point, we just kind of make music that we'd like to hear. Yeah. You know, this album, even though it is a little different, maybe a little heavier than some of the past ones, it's, you know, we haven't really reinvented the the Cedar wheel, so to speak. <laughs> you know, it's it's very much Cedar. Uh, it very much sounds like us. And, you know, I think if you're a fan of what we do, you know, you'll you'll probably appreciate at least some of the songs. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I think we do it obviously for the fans, but it's it's basically the music that we want to hear. And if, if people want to come along for the ride, you know, please come out, come to the show, <laughs> you know, let's, let's have a good time. Let's, yeah. you know, have some drinks, get on stage, make some noise and, <laughs> and just have a good time, you know? Um, so it's, it's nice that, to be in a position, you know, yeah. where we, we are established to the point where we can take a slightly more relaxed approach to it. Yeah. That's an actually what I was following yeah. in there and, and you, you wrapped it up at, at the point that you're at now, you, you kind of feel like you, you've just earned that relaxed, right. Where you can say like, this is us. You kind of uh, love it or hate it, which obviously everyone loves it, but it, it, it's got to be a little bit more relaxing, a little bit of that weight off and more enjoyable maybe at this point. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And you know, j- just in general, um, you know, so we, we've been doing it so long and um, I think we've, gained a little more maybe cachet or um respect maybe from um you know from like label and yeah and 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 you know the powers that be and so you know if, if we want to take a year or two off in between albums to to make sure the album's as good as it can be you know that's okay you know if yeah. we yeah. um you know if we're going in the studio labels basically said look is basically carte blanche to you know do whatever it is you guys want to do and let us know when it's done you know we'll give it a listen and and obviously you know label wants to protect their investment you know they're putting a lot of money into this unknown quantity and and i mean they're in the business of making money if you're losing you you got to close your doors so so that's it's a stressful time you know being a young band and trying to you know cut your teeth and, and and make it and earn that respect but it's cool now to have a label that believes in us and, um, you know, lets us basically do, do our thing and, and, uh, make the album that we want to make. And when it's ready, say, cool, like great album, you know, we'll go ahead and start the, right, right. the, the marketing. Cause you know, that we, we don't know really anything about that side of stuff, but, <laughs> but I think we've got the music, the music side. Handy, you so. got it down. <laughs> well, you can hear that now again on the latest album from C the, the surface seems so far. Listen, rate, share, subscribe. Discover new music now at WJJO.com, in the JJO app, or wherever you get your podcasts. Rock has a new interview every Thursday evening between 6 and 7. 941 JJO. I need new music. This is the JJO Discover New Music Podcast. Uh, awesome, heavy, new, and, and that's always exciting, especially the first new work since 2020. And uh, so much has changed out there, and I, I just uh, it's awesome having this after four years of uh, enjoying the last album and what we had before. But again, it's available now. The surface seems so far. And I got to ask about this new album. I ask everyone this. So is there a track that really speaks to you off this album? There's a track called uh, Walls Come Down. It's the simplest song on the album, but it's the one that, you know, when we'd go home at the end of the evening after like, you know, mixing or, you know, just tracking all day, that would be the one that, you know, would be kind of humming in my head. Yeah, it's a song co- called Walls Come Down. Uh, we are planning on, on releasing that as a single. So, you know, people will hear it on radio, hopefully. But yeah, it's just a, just kind of a very simple, straightforward song. It's just got a, you know, straightforward beat. But I don't know, I think because it's one of the simpler songs, it, it's just really catchy. It's It's got a good hook. And uh, yeah, I just, uh, that one really just stood out to me. And, 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 and uh, just, you know, it's a, it's an earworm. So uh, I love yeah, it. I'll, I'll say walls come down. It's <laughs> probably my favorite. <laughs> I love it. I, I know that's always hard because when you're so close to, especially to a Sean producing and you guys have yeah. it in there. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's, it, you spend a lot of time with these, you, you know, them intimately, but I'm, I'm excited yeah, now you, that we you all, fall, you fall in love with all of them. You know, yeah. You know, yeah. in different ways and, and for different reasons. So you're right. It's, uh, 
It's right. Like, it's like, uh, which child's my favorite? <laughs> I don't know. This one's good at that. I like yeah. this. <laughs> that like, one's being a real son of a bitch. Pick, He's yeah. not on the list right now. Yeah, so- <laughs> Sophie's Choice over here. With yeah, the right. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, well, we're going to get to rapid fire, but I'm going to do my James Lipton Masterpiece Theater question here where okay. I get real deep with you. Uh, 20 years from now. Uh, the band's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You guys have put out more records, Grammys, Emmys, Tonys. Oh, what the accolades that you guys have received. <laughs> Looking back at this and the lineage of Seether, where are you going to put this album for you guys? A- as we look at the past, the future, where where do you put this, Dale? Hopefully it's slap bang in the middle of, yeah. of our career. You know, I'd like to think we've got a couple more albums under the belt, you know, some, some life left in us. I mean, we've slowed down a little bit on the touring side of things, but... Uh, I think we're still pretty, there's a mosquito buzzing around me uh, sitting outside. Um, <laughs> but I, I think creatively, you know, we've still got, got a lot of energy in us, but yeah, I'd like to think this album will be one that people look back um, kindly on and fondly. I think it's a strong album. Yeah. I, I hope we're still doing it in 20 years from now. <laughs> Who knows? I mean, so much can happen, but if you, if we go back 20 years and you say, Hey, you yeah. know, 20 years in the future, you'll still be doing this thing. I'll be like, no way. <laughs> and at the speed that 20 years goes at, you know, now that I'm in my mid forties and having kids that, that just accelerates life in general. So I feel like 20 years is going to be the blink of an eye. So, <laughs> so yeah, you know, it's probably not out of the question that yeah, we'll still, yeah. still be doing our thing. So yeah. well, I hope so. I'll see you on the, uh, on the geriatric tour for you guys. Yeah. Right? Be yeah I'll, I'll be, I'll, I'll be using a walker to come out on stage, <laughs> but probably have a nurse on stage next yeah. to me, you know, just it'll, but, be perfect. Uh, it'll be perfect. But yeah, you know, it's a, uh, Uh, I love it. I love it. (laughs) Well, again, the service team so far, the latest album from C, their album number nine, it's out now. Go get it. Go check it out. I guarantee you will not be disappointed. Now that the important stuff's out of the way, quick round of rapid fire. So Alyssa doesn't get me in trouble. There's no (laughs) wrong answers on this. You just go with your gut. Let's start easy. Stairway to heaven or highway to hell? Stairway. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, straight fi- fries or curly fries? Straight. Right. I'm boring. <laughs> <laughs> they work. Sometimes curly fries are too showy, you know? Yeah, you can't, you can't dip them as easy. In right, and they of, get yeah. all over. Yeah, you, yeah. No wrong answer. Too no fancy. wrong answer. <laughs> too I'm, fancy. A simple, I'm a simple <laughs> plebeian. Disco or techno? Techno. All right. Yeah. I used to, uh, I used to be a big, big raver back in my day. Uh, Sandstorm, my favorite tech. That's the only one I know, but that's the one I think from Blade. You know that and when they're in the club. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. That's all I know, though. That's all <laughs> I know. Uh, would you rather see Bigfoot or the Loch Ness Monster? Probably Bigfoot. Does uh, South Africa have any crazy uh, mythological people? I'm sure you guys do. Yeah, we, we've got one called the uh, the Tokoloshi. What the hell he, is that? He's like, uh, it's more in like the, uh, I feel like in the Zulu culture. No. Um, he's this little man and, um, yeah, he like, he runs around and it's, it's like a superstition thing. <laughs> um, so I remember we had a nanny growing up, she put a bed on, on like paint cans and like bricks and stuff Yeah, to set so it's out of his reach. Cause he, he was like the short little man, you know, Okay, but he was like a sort of weird little monster guy and he'd run around at night. <laughs> and while everyone's sleeping, he'd come and, and, you know, if, if your bed was too low, he could reach you and he'd oh. kind of attack you or possess you or whatever it was. Pickle you, whatever um, you, whatever yeah. that weird so little her, pervert did. So whatever. her bed was like five feet off the ground. No kidding. That's crazy. You know, yeah. We, I'd, I'd try to get on there because we'd be playing and stuff and I couldn't get onto her bed because, uh, because neither of the pain can. cans, the Tokoloshi. So. The Tokoloshi couldn't either. Yeah. You, could, you don't have the need to see it. That's so <laughs> interesting. All right, last one. One punch from Mike Tyson or 100 punches from the Where's the Beef Lady? I'd go Iron Mike. I like it. Yeah, That's I mean, story. Tra- trauma aside, I just, I'd, well, I'd love to meet him. And I'd love to just say I took one from from the champ, you know. You so, might not be yeah, able I'm, to. I'm, I'm, might, I'm, I'm yeah. a big, I'm, I'm a boxing fan. I'm, a, I'm an MMA fan, but too big time. But uh, I'm, a, I'm a big, big Iron Mike fan. So I love it. Yeah, take definitely. One, take one from him. I like it. I like it. Brave man. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll probably die afterwards. Yeah, right. At least I can say, hey, I met, yeah. I met the champ, you know. <laughs> <laughs> met him once, took me out. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Well, hey, thanks for humoring me. More importantly, Dale, thank no you problem. for talking new music. See there, the for surface sure. seems so far. Uh, really appreciate it, brother. Thank you no so problem, much. No problem, man. Thanks for having me. Listen, rate, share, subscribe. Discover new music now at WJJO.com in the JJO app. 
or wherever you get your podcasts. Rock has a new interview every Thursday evening between 6 and 7. 941 JJO. Say-